Good morning, we're here at Balicom and we've got the wonderful James Clark from the Lenovo IDG team. Could you tell us about this beast of a machine, the Lenovo P8? Would you like to give us a few pointers about the P8, James? Yeah, thanks John. So this, this is the latest in the Lenovo ThinkStation product lineup. It is uh, an amazingly powerful bit of kit, complete uh, with AMD's latest Threadripper Pro CPUs, mm -hmm. all the way up to 96 cores. Uh, in a single processor, a terabyte of memory, three of the highest end graphics cards. It's an absolute monster. What would you say is the key selling point about this PS? Versatility is probably the biggest point of this machine. So where a lot of our workstation customers, we tend to put them into one of two different camps. They're either mm -hmm. going to be working with single-threaded applications mm -hmm. or multi-threaded applications. Yes. Meaning single-threaded, no matter how many cores you've got on a processor, yeah. it'll only ever use one at a time. Multi-threaded is the complete opposite. So single-threaded, you need much faster cores. Mm -hmm. Multi-threaded, you just need a lot of cores. The P8 does everything. It is so versatile at the low core end count, it's super fast. Mm -hmm. Everything at the high end count is still extremely fast. So you've got the highest performance at either count. I love how you said the P8 does everything. Um, can it mine bitcoins for me? It can mine bitcoins. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend it. That's how the industry gets into trouble with uh, graphics card shortages. Yeah, but I, I saw you uh, a minute ago playing around with how easy it is to remove these uh, spare parts in there, the, the graphics card PSU. Yep. One um, of the benefits of anything Lenovo workstation is its ease of use. You don't have to be an IT whiz to be able to take the thing apart and service it, upgrade it. You know, that's yeah. a power supply. Um, there's no cables to it, yes. it's all plugged into the motherboard, all the power is rooted around, mm -hmm. get a brand new one, it's as simple as that. It couldn't be easier, and the graphics card, the memory, it's all the same, it's They're completely right. tallish, you don't need a single screwdriver mm -hmm. to take out any of the components. Apart from the processors, but we wouldn't recommend you doing that anyway. Is <laughs> it real or not that Aston Martin actually designed? It is true, yeah. yeah. Um, it. It, it is true, so when, when all the latest products came out with the P5, the P7, the P10, Aston Martin were the brains behind the entire design of the machines. And it's not just an aesthetic, I'm sure you will agree, it does look yes. beautiful, it really is a stunningly good looking machine. But it's really about the airflow. These machines, they do kick mm -hmm. out a lot of heat, they do get hot, all right? And heat is the enemy to any computer hardware. Yes. So we need to make sure that these run as cool as possible mm -hmm. to get the highest sustained performance. And that's exactly what uh, Aston Martin did for us. They designed this chassis so that all of the airflow coming in for the processor and all the components yeah. either side of it is completely unimpeded. It's a completely fresh stream of air for every component, um, keeping it cool, keeping it running. I think this is quite focused on rendering projects, rendering applications, architecture. Good question. It's actually focused at everyone. There isn't a single uh, set of people that this would be aimed at. Yeah. Because of its versatility, if you're in architecture, engineering, construction, it will work amazingly for you mm -hmm. because of the fast processors. Absolutely. If you're in media and entertainment, the ability to get so many super high end graphics cards mm -hmm. in works perfectly for you. If you're doing things like simulations or even mm -hmm. AI workflows mm -hmm. where you just need the most of everything, yes. it works well for you as well. Absolutely. Pharmaceuticals, healthcare, every industry is catered for in, in one box. Back to where we started, the P8 does everything. How, yeah. how do you think the P8 plays a key role in harnessing the power of AI in this kind of thing? It's a graphics card. We've had these NPUs that everyone's talking about yes. for a very long time on our graphics cards. That's NVIDIA's uh, Tensor Core technology. Mm -hmm. They've been around for a, a good three to five years already. Mm -hmm. AI, this sort of thing is more about building your own AI models. This is about training your own AI, developing mm -hmm. and building your mm -hmm. own AI before it goes out and does this thing in the real world. That's, that's insane. What is the key effect of having an AMD processor? AMD are fantastic in their ability to use less energy mm. to power give you the same kind of, exactly, power efficiency. It's not just with the, the thread rippers, you know, they do use a lot of energy, but they don't use as much as you would think mm -hmm. to do what they need to do. And, and it'll only ever use what it needs to perform the tasks that it's, that it's that currently working on. And it's the same with the, the laptops as well. You know, when you see the AMD uh, laptops against their competitor yes. uh, processors, you tend to find the battery life is always better on the AMD. Yeah, yeah. Um, so power efficiency, really is a key thing for AMD. And from a cybersecurity point of view, James, I, I know it's very 
important for organizations to move to Windows 11, yep. given that in October, uh, later this year, Windows 10 is going end of life. Right. How is that translated into the PA? Well, AMD processors have all the same technology that you would yeah. find in Intel, for example. Yeah. So things like firmware TPMs, mm -hmm. ultra secure, uh, secure for security keys, things like that. Anything that you would find on a normal enterprise grade yeah. workstation, yes. or even an enterprise grade device of any kind, this still has all of that same security. For a big organization, the power consumption is a big, big. Absolutely, um, every yeah, CIO big. is looking at it. Yes. Um, every company is really looking at how they can become more sustainable, how they can reduce their carbon exactly. footprint. No, just, not just the PA, but Lenovo as a whole. Mm -hmm. How do you think, because this, this is one beast of a machine, literally doing all the jobs that it possibly can do. Yep. Yeah. Something has thought has been thought about this in the background. Yeah, like absolutely. So. Sustainability is, yeah. is a tough sell sometimes with, with workstations. You see something like this, you think tons of power consumption, tons of heat being generated, and mm. to a certain extent, it's not entirely wrong. However, it's how we build these machines that yeah. make them so sustainable. We use recycled materials. We don't use aluminium because you mm -hmm. can't recycle aluminium uh, very well. Uh, you can recycle it a number of seven times before it comes too brittle to use. Yeah. So we still use steel uh, for the metal in the mm -hmm. chassis, which can be recycled as many times as, wow. you, as you can possibly do it. Um, all of the plastics that are used are recycled materials as well. Mm -hmm. And even the packaging is coming with recyclable and sustainable packaging. So we don't use any, um, we only use soluble inks on the cardboard. We don't use any plastic on the cardboards. Even the tape that goes over yeah. the packaging it yeah. is now paper um, and biodegradable glue. So we'll yeah. wrap it up with one just very important feature, which I think is very important to me and is very, very cool. Is that in front of the PA, we can see a screen there, yep. which I don't think I've seen in any other um, workstations. Can you just tell us what that is? Yeah, so, absolutely. So these machines, they are kind of designed to sit on a desk or sit in a rack. So yes. they are rack optimized yes. as well. So you can stick a sliding rail kit, stick it in a data center. Mm -hmm. If something should go wrong, say one of the memory dims fails, yes. how do you know what that is without taking it out and looking at it and trying every dim? Beep sound? We used to have the beep sound, but mm -hmm. that didn't really work for a lot of people. So yeah. that screen at the front now shows a QR code if there is a fault with oh, the machine. Wow. Yes. That QR code, any phone can take a picture of it. It will yeah. take you straight to the support site and to the direct error code, telling you exactly what's wrong with it as quickly as anything. One click solution. One click. Okay, well, James, thank you so much for your time uh, here at Ballycom. This was a fantastic demo that we've had. And I really, really hope that a lot of the industries out there recognize the um, you know, the power of this machine and what it's capable of and actually harness it for the right reason. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.